Hey, everybody, how you doing today? Uh, listen, I'm going to talk to you today. I hear a whole lot about um, people <clears throat> wanting to make cold calls and what's the best way to do a cold call and what's the best time to cold call and this and that, cold call that, and, you know, something else about cold call. Cold call is nothing wrong with cold calling, but it's it's a challenge. It is because it's called cold, call, cold calling. These are cold leads, okay? So I'm going to talk to you really briefly about the difference between direct direct response marketing, okay, and cold calling. That's just something you need to understand. If you're starting out, if you already have your own marketing thing, you can go watch this stupid video, go drink some coffee or something. But if you're, you know, if you're starting out, you're struggling getting consistent deals, you need to understand the difference, very distinct difference between direct response marketing, okay, just straight cold calling, okay? Cold calling is you have a cold lead and you, you know, hey, I want to buy your home kind of thing, right? And cold, cold calling, um, there's different levels of cold calling. There's just cold leads, straight period, you know, like randomly out of, you know, dates being here, but out of the phone, but okay, you know, I'm going to buy a house, right? To someone who potentially may want to sell their home, maybe it's a pre foreclosure kind of thing, but it's still a cold lead, okay? To a somebody like an expired listing uh, is would be a cold lead per se, uh, but they at some point wanted to sell their home, and depending on when that when that was, you know, might have been the, the the list expired two months ago. So it's it's fairly a warm lead. Does that make sense? A cold calling is just that they don't know who you are, and it's tough. I don't care what kind of sales guy you are, it's tough because you, you have to engage with the person. All right, you really do. And you have to, you know, identify what the problem is and solve it. Okay. I want you to think about this for a second. You hate cold callers. I know you do. You say like me. Hey, uh, let me, is this how you, uh, you know, your vehicle warranty expires, is going to expire. Press three to talk to it, you know, get some help. All right. You know, hey, you're still, you know, tell you about health insurance and uh, rope and roll my blah, blah. When you get those calls about open enrollment for health insurance, a vehicle expiring, and what have, does that make you be like, oh my gosh, my vehicle's warranty is expiring? You don't say, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, what do I need to do? No, you're gonna make, you know, get off the phone, quit bothering you, right? So when you call somebody, you call somebody about how you wanna buy their home, how do you think they're gonna respond? Really? You think they're like, oh my gosh, so my home was so awful nice as real estate investors call me, blah, blah, blah. No. They're like, man, who is this? Get off the phone. Quit bothering me. Okay, so cold calling is inherently hard to do. All right, you have to crack these guys. All right. Now, you can, I'm not saying you can't do cold calling, but when you talk to a cold calling person or someone you're cold calling, you, you've got to be creative. You've got to have pattern interrupts. you got to figure out what the problem is immediately and solve it, okay? But I'm going to tell you the 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 the, the um, a, a better strategy with direct response marketing. It's instead of you doing cold calling per se, your marketing does the, the you know the, the 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 cold reach out kind of thing, and most people obviously don't respond because not a lot of people want to sell their home. But when you get direct response marketing, is you ask the market a question. You say, "Hey, market, I want I want I want to buy your home." Okay, what do I mean by the market? Well, you buy a list. You have you know pre foreclosures. Everyone seems to think pre foreclosures is really awesome, and I'll do a whole video on pre foreclosures. They they are potentially, but most pre foreclosure folks are in denial. I've been doing this for over a decade with pre foreclosures, and they they just don't. They I mean, you may I made a lot of money pre foreclosures, but you have to own the fact own the fact that they they're reluctant to sell their home. They don't want to sell their home. They're they're hoping Santa Claus can come and intervene, or the government's going to bail them out, or or whatever. Okay, they don't want that to happen until the evil closing, and then they're like, "Oh, what do I do?" Right? So that's that's a tough one. But so you got pre foreclosures. Uh, so that that's a demographic. You got vacant properties, absentee owners. Probate's awesome. We did some videos on that. Probate never, ever, ever, ever stops. Never stops. Does not stop. Nights, weekends. It's always <laughs> it's always going. Okay. Uh, it just is so hot leads. Okay, so you have these potential leads, and you want to talk to them. Okay, you want to ask them questions, and you want to tell them you want to solve the problem. So, so here, here's the direct response marketing method. You, 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 you have a hypothesis. I think pre foreclosures in the zip code uh, may want to sell the home. I think uh, these vacant property owners want to sell their home, right? So you, you, uh, you, you use some direct response marketing. What do I mean by direct response marketing? It's not like uh, marketing. 
you know, you see on the side of the road, hey, you know, want to, you know drink some Pepsi and you, you know, and you can you know, kiss this girl like this basketball player is kissing and they're drinking pe- Pepsi and there's a basketball behind her and it makes you feel like you're, you're a cool basketball player and, and you get a pretty girl or something, right? That's, that's, that's just marketing. So if, if you drive by that, that uh, you know, in the car and you see that, you know, hey, I want to be cool like that basketball player and drink that Pepsi like that, you know, or, you know, drink some Pepsi or whatever. Well, pep, you know, that's great, uh, but Pepsi had no idea that it worked on you. Does that make sense? Direct, so that's just normal marketing. Direct response marketing is, hey, I want to buy your house. Respond, right? So, does that make sense? So, so you have a marketing hypothesis in your you know, vacant properties and what, you know, XYZ zip code may want to sell. So you ask them. You do a direct response. You say, hey, you send them a letter. You send them a voicemail. You send them a text. You send them an email. You might send them some lumpy mail, Okay whatever. Okay. And then you respond. Okay. And then, then you just do your skip tracing. I mean, I mean, your uh, split testing. That's for a whole nother video. Uh, skip, uh, um, split testing. But anyways, do all that. Uh, and then just wait for them to respond. People are going to respond to you. Okay. And when they respond and someone, like, Hey, I'm, I'm calling the cops piece of crap, you know, quit call them, you know, quit send me letters. I'll say, don't respond to that guy. Right. Just throw it away. But people are like, Hey, I'm interested in, in you know, what you had to say. I'm, yeah, I'm interested in selling my home. Now you have not cold leads, but warm leads. Magic, right? So much easier to convert these guys. Okay. And if you need to have more, if you're you're really you're trying to make more money in business, you know, then do more marketing. Instead of beating your head against the wall on cold calling, do some direct response marketing. So you, then you get warm leads coming in and then you respond in wisdom. You you respond with all the strategies we talk about. Obviously, buy a little sell high, great, you know. 70% less ARV, less your fee for a whole, you know, normal wholesale deal. Maybe do administrative lot split, two for the price of one. Turn it into a, not a $5,000 deal, but a $100,000, $200,000 deal because you, you split the lot in half. Maybe the guy's got a bunch of land too. You can do lots of subordination and turn, without even using your own cash, you know, turn it into a quarter of a million dollars, quarter million dollars by lots of subordinations. Why? Because you, you figure out what this problem is and you solve it, right? What if I could give you all the money plus in a few months? Okay. I got that. All right. So that's, that's direct response marketing. So much easier, folks. All right. You ask the market a question, the market responds. The market's so clever. The cleverest entity you could ever meet in your life. More clever than Santa Claus. I'm telling you. The market's very clever. You ask the market a question, the market responds. Okay. And then you, in wisdom, with all the strategies we have from this Facebook group, okay, can 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 respond with a solution to their problem. Doesn't matter what their problem is per se. Most of the time, you can offer a solution. Not all the time. Worst case scenario, you just uh, you know, I know you want to sell your home. None of these ten strategies I have can work for you. But let me introduce you to Sally Smith, who works for Keller Williams. She's the most professional real estate agent in the state of Arkansas or wherever you're at. You know. And uh, she'll she'll take care of you, treat you with white kid gloves on, you know. Kind of thing. Does that make sense? Okay. So that that's how you do it. I, I, I just really I, so so the, the takeaway from this thing is, cold calling is hard. It does. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It does work, but it's hard, and it really depletes your mojo. Okay. If you talk to a hundred people and like, no, 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 I hate you. I'm calling the cops. You suck, right? You think it makes you feel good? I think it makes you feel bad. Hmm, you tell me, all right? I won't even answer that question. I think you can answer that for yourself, all right? So you do that, or you do direct response marketing. Yes, it costs a little bit more money, and you do some campaigns, A, B, and C, do some split testing. Again, I'll do a video on that here a little bit. Uh, but uh, then then the market responds, and then you just say, wow, why are we talking right now, Mr. Seller? Why do you want to sell your house? People don't sell their house every day. What's your situation? Where are you planning on moving to? How can I help you, right? Now, and then I tell you, well, here's my situation. What if I could do this for you? Could, could we do some business today? You see how much easier that is? So listen, if you have any any questions, you want some help, mentoring, whatever, uh, let me know right down here. Uh, schedule an appointment to talk or you know whatever, answer my phone, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do some business. We'll help you out. But remember, remember, there's only one you, okay? Only one you. So if you spend all your time doing things that really aren't going to be productive, and if you call, cold call and you're struggling, you need to try a different approach. Direct response marketing can really help you. If you need help, let me know. I'm here for you. Talk to you soon and Godspeed.